it isn't new to hear about having crushes in your teen years it isn't um, new and i uh, had a lot of them good day everyone my name is choma ephemerichi and you're welcome to my youtube channel Today is World Sexual Purity Day and as we celebrate this very special event, I would love to share a short story with you about myself while growing up and um, why we should abstain from sexual sins. If you're new to this channel, I would love you to subscribe and I also love you to like this video so more persons can see and kindly comment and share with your friends and loved ones. Thank you. Growing up, I've always heard about sexual purity, why nobody should touch you, you shouldn't be intimate with anyone, and I just had to live with it as instruction from my parents. So, growing up, yes, I didn't have to sleep with anyone, but I faced the reality of having crushes. It isn't new to hear about having crushes in your teen years. It isn't um, new and I uh, had a lot of them. At some point in my life, when I confessed to my mom while in secondary school, I told her I had up to seven crushes in my class at the same time. Then I was quite, <laughs> I was quite depressed about it because you don't know which one to like in all of them. <laughs> so she prayed for me, gave her piece of advice. And one thing I got to understand with time is that sexual purity begins with your heart. The Bible says, guard your heart with all diligence, for out of it flows the issues of life. And so that was one very important aspect I had missed at some point. Before I got to know this aspect, I was sexually impure in my thoughts. I had so many thoughts about these crushes, about some guys I would see on TV. So at some point, I would just have this admiration and I'll start imagining things. Let's say I get married to this person. How's it going to be the wedding night and everything. Sexual purity actually starts with the mind. My advice to you this World Sexual Purity Day is that you should guard your heart with all diligence because out of it flows the issues of life. And the Bible says the will of God for us is our sanctification that we should abstain from sexual sins. Another advice I have is let us watch what we watch. Let's be careful of the content that we take in. Many young persons, including married people, are consumed with pornography now. We hear pornography in our secular music industry. We see pornography in the videos and it just looks like there's porn everywhere. And there's still what we in Nigeria call blue movies that many persons still download or buy and watch on their phones or watch on television. Let's be careful of what we get to watch. And in all, let pleasing God be your priority. To everyone out there, I just want to wish you World Sexual Purity Day. And I trust the Lord to help you overcome sexual impurity if you're having that challenge. And I trust him so well to help you live a sexual pure life. And at the end of the day, you get married to his choice for your life god bless you so much and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't kindly share with your friends and loved ones god bless you bye